Right, so let's understand how to uh, deploy the, the web app. So log on to the uh, the Azure uh, Marketplace, click on the web app. So um, this is what um, you will see. Alright, just click on create and um, it will ask to uh, give the, uh, the name of the web app and the subscription whether you want to use uh, existing resource group or a new one and the operating system is Windows or Linux alright and it will ask for the app service plan alright so let's quickly uh, go ahead and give a, a name here so let's see what we have under uh, app service here so if I click on the app service plan so I want to create a new one and let's see uh, what do we have under uh, app service pricing uh, tire so under the pricing uh, I see we have a lot of uh, options to to explore so this is where you will be selecting your uh, backend uh, uh, complete the uh, app service environment right depending upon your workload so here it, this is the uh, the basic it's one core right and you have a premium so it starts with uh, you know one code the same the difference between the isolated and the premium if you look at the um, uh, the, the storage right so the storage here we have 200 250 uh, GB of storage and we have uh, uh, SSL custom domains you can add right and uh, you can have uh, your traffic manager in the premium and we have something which is very uh, 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 basic which is a standard also alright and the basic one here and you can have a free one alright so I'll go with the free one here because this is a test one just selected a free uh, service plan and I'm just uh, you can select the location so these are the available locations alright so Alright, so I've just selected and uh, application insights you want it or currently I'm just going ahead with off. Click on create. So it's creating my first uh, web app. Alright, so it says uh, deployment in progress. So. Um, it says uh, created it right so I'll just click on this and see what information is giving right so it says it's done quickly I'll go back to my resource group of my resource group and uh, my web app first web app alright so this is my first app you can see we have a uh, app service and we have a uh, app service plan right so click on uh, my first app let's quickly explore um, what uh, options it's giving from the portal so it's pretty simple it's like you know we have the same activity log access control right uh, quick start deployment credentials slots right so um, application settings authentication backups custom domain SSL you can scale up scale out the app service plan you can create a web job right so um, so if I uh, explore the uh, the link it says okay your app service has been created right so so it says you can go ahead and deploy the code or whatever which is required right so go back here let's say uh, for the deployment right so this is for the uh, credentials and for the deployment slots uh, we'd like to create uh, okay so 
it shows you should be a part of standard or premium but not uh, not not uh, not a free okay so um, I'll go back and I'll increase my uh, uh, service plan scale up from a free to a standard so I'll go for my uh, just standard ones let's see okay so it says updating the uh, updating service plan okay so uh, we just updated the service plan okay now we go back here uh, so that should give uh, see now it says the service plan is a uh, standard not a free one okay now I go back to the deployment slots you should see an option to create now see now it says add I click on add here enter the name I'm gonna say as a my uh, testing testing slot. You can uh, do a cloning. Click on OK. And I'm gonna create one more slot which says uh, development. Right. So click on OK. I'm going to create uh, my uh, production slot. Right, so prod one, prod. Right, so you can have. I'm not creating any uh, clone here. So I've created uh, different uh, slots here for my deployment, starting with the testing, development, and uh, production, right? So I click on this here, click on this one, the testing one, it will so I can deploy my code here, I can you know um I can check the the same uh, the the URL for the testing. Or I'll be doing all my web app testing by deploying the code, right? So this is the uh, my first app testing Azure. But the actual one if you look at uh, that's a different uh name it's like my first app dot azure websites dot net right but the testing it's a testing similarly we have for the the dev and the uh, production right so um, deployment options so uh, it's asking for uh, uh, the source let's click on that one and see so uh, we can use a uh, visual studio onedrive okay git github Bitbucket, Dropbox, and repository. If I click on here, Visual Studio Team Services. Okay, it's asking what is the project, choose branch, performance test, right? So, so you need to have a, a Visual Studio uh, Services account created under which you you should create a project and everything, all right, to use. And. Um, Let's go back to the uh, the application settings here once. So application settings, you can configure your dotted uh, the version, right? So what is the the minimum, and the PHP version, and the Java version, right? And uh, the other uh, the platform, it's 32 bit or 64 bit. Web sockets always on, right? In pipeline version, right? Auto swap, debugging and uh, connection settings and everything right so here you will configure all the uh, information including the virtual uh, directories authentication and authorization so here uh, is enabled alright and currently this is off you click on on so it's ask okay so um, that's where you configure your authentication for the your web app right so you want to in Facebook Google or Microsoft account right so you can configure Facebook Google Twitter Microsoft for example click on Facebook and it's asked for the app ID and app, 
app secret so which will be uh, you getting you can configure all this information uh, from your uh, Facebook profile similarly for Twitter and and for the Google right so I'm just turning off here all right and for the backups I can uh, take a backup all right so I can configure the backup here for my web app so I can schedule this uh, storage not configured so it requires a storage pool right you can give a storage account existing one or create a new one right so and backup schedule for uh, to click on on so it gives uh, every day or what is my schedule and the, the retention the time frame to run right and uh, So that is that's how the backup works and I can link to a custom domain for my web app so instead of using my first app uh, testing dot azure websites I can uh, you know um, add a, a host here right so enter host name and validate it will validate and will assign instead of uh, hosting this I can app uh, I can add my own custom domain right I can also currently it says it's using HTTP okay it's not using HTTPS so if you want I can go ahead and add, add my own SSL certificate alright and other things we have seen the scale up and scale up to app service plan and for the web job if I want to run a, a continuous job you know that will uh, uh, that will uh, push uh, notifications or that will uh, insert data that will pull some data from the existing then I'll create a web job just click on new web job and let's see what options we're getting right so so there will be like continuous and triggered I can uh, upload a, a a file right which which will contain all the instructions and the next thing is about the um, push notifications right so you should have a, a notification hub to, to configure your uh, push notifications like you know you have an, uh, so nowadays we see a lot of uh, push notifications from the uh, from the service providers whenever you use any app right so this is where you configure all that so you have to configure notification hub in order to uh, push the uh, app uh, push the uh, the notification so we will cover this notification hub in, in a different uh, video right so next thing is mysql uh, and app currently uh, you know your uh, it runs on a, a MIS, mysql instance right so you can manage currently it is off or if I click on on so then so it will have all my data will be here somewhere right I can I can also uh, use uh, export So properties, uh, it will give all the uh, information about my uh, host, diagnostics, everything. So this is where the uh, the app uh, service plan shows my CPU usage and the memory percentage usage. Okay. And I have some uh, uh, deployment tools here to see, you know, like the clone app, console, advanced tools, app service editor, performance testing. I mean, performance. I like performance testing and the testing in production. So performance testing is to see how my uh, how the site will, uh, you know, will work. It's like you know, uh, kind of a load testing, right? So um, let's see. All right, I'll create a, a test here. I want to see. So this is the uh, 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 test which I'll be performing user uh, load of 250 duration of 5 minutes to see whether my site will be up and running or it will be down so you can even increase this one right so that's what it creates a virtual load to be generated on a website right so I 
and advanced tools um, so we have uh, specific tools console where you can run you know the commands from here right So it gives all the information what is there in that. So right, it. So only thing we have is the hosting start dot html. If I say uh, all right, I mean that's just an example. I'm just typing, so it is not. I'll give a quit. <laughs> okay. So I think the only way is to just close the window. Right. If I click on the clone app, it says uh, clone app is features available only in the premium, not for the standard or right in the free. If you want to do that, you have to go and upgrade your app service plan. All right, so we have under monitoring application sites, alerts, diagnostic logs, log stream, process explorer. Okay, so um, let's check the alerts. What kind of alerts I can create for my web app? So under click on add alert. Um, so it says um, average uh, average memory work set can create all this for data in data out CPU time and for all these HTTP errors also can create right CPU time greater than can uh, you can configure the threshold and condition everything and you can also it's like you know for the email or for the web book so I think um, there are a pretty uh, handful of uh, uh, alerts I can configure right so which is pretty good and uh, I can also capture the diagnostic logs log stream process explorer right and um, so I guess uh, we uh, we caught pretty much about the um, web app and one thing is managed service identity I just want to see what is quickly so so this is like you know it's like you're with your active directory or you know related to uh, uh, any uh, specific uh, in-house uh, employee app you want to build you should integrate your active directory just like you know where you can integrate your Facebook or Google to lo for the log on similar way they will be um, uh, integrated with your uh, Active Directory so that only your uh, employees will access that web app. All right, so that is where this ident manager service identity will come picture. So guys, so that is about the web app. So um, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you. Have a nice day.